And you don't even say mwe 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 tapali nefo mwinga chita. Tapali ofo mwinga chita. PF can be closed so in a blink of an eye and tapali ofo mwinga chita. Tapali. Who are you? Eh? Who are you? Imwe who are you? With Ed Galungwe coward. What can you do? What can you do with Ed Galungwe coward? At least member was there even fighting. He even went to the road. He was even arrested for it. Ed Galungu can never be arrested for PF. He can never. The moment you start close shutting down PF, shutting down PF, Ed Galungu will go into his bunker in, in Ibex. He can't fight. He can't fight. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers. I mean from start to finish to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I can tell you Valungu that some of these people are so bitter that they would want to see the worst happen to you because they feel you didn't treat them well. They didn't feel you didn't treat them well. So this stupidity of this nonsense of, the, of trying to, you know, trying to be so entitled, trying to be so uh, self-praising that you did so much for people is actually nonsensical because some of us, we are meeting people that are really crying of how bad you treated them. We meet these people of how bad, and we were trying to, you know, comfort some of these people. But now, well now, I mean, like yesterday, I was talking to, to one lawyer, one prominent lawyer, and he was telling me, say, you see, I told you because this guy, when I started the Alevo Rapo agenda, he called me and he said, you know, Uyulungu Lefo Kweke Shapo is not a good man. I'm telling you, he called me, he said, he's not a good man. And this agenda cannot succeed. A lawyer, a very prominent lawyer. And this agenda cannot succeed. And so now, I mean, when I changed, he called me and he was telling me, you see, I told you. I told you. Just that by you PND now. <laughs> you know, PF, PF cannot stand. It is you you know, you can even come back. You this you you should actually be thanking God that sometimes people speak good of you. But there is so much that is not spoken by so many people such that PF can be finished, can be finished in a day. PF can be finished in a day. It can be finished in a day. PF can be finished in a day. Don't feel so 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 confident that you owed anything. It can be finished in a day. If just one legal action can come against PF. Remember how you how you how you how you close down the post. You close down the post using how much? 83 pin because of those two gentlemen that sued the post. And you went in and liquidated the post over 83 pin. Over 83 pin. A company that was worth so much money. A company that employed so many people. You just closed it down. You just closed it down illegally. I'm reminding you. This is what you did to a company. A very big company which many Zambians were benefiting from, you were PF went in and closed it down. Just closed it down. And I'm telling you that if we want to be malicious against PF, because we change, we when, you know, I, I come here, I talk about, no, but I want to tell you that if you want to be malicious, we know ways that we can we can bring down PF. So we chindike san. 
And even when I talk, I don't talk about the entire PF because surely I wouldn't want to be part of, uh, uh, you know, the people that will bring down PF. PF belonged to Sata. PF did not be, does not belong to Edgar Lungu. Edgar Lungu is messing up PF. PF belongs to Sata. And for that, we are sparingly talking about PF. I sparingly talk about PF. Because I know it is not the entire PF which is the problem. It is just a few individuals, a few selfish, without a vision, a few people that cannot see beyond their nose, that are messing up PF. But I am telling you that if we were malicious, if we did not, you know, think of satellite, particularly myself, myself, I am, you know, I, I, I have so much consideration for PF, such that I would not want to bring down PF. Because Sata worked so much, he invested himself in PF. And I feel bad that a few individuals who are selfish, who are selfish, want to bring down PF. But if we are malicious, we can close down PF the way you close the, the post. I'm telling you, we can close the PF the way you close the uh, 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 post. We can close it. If we just want to be malicious, we can close it. Because this very, even just this Chester, even just we in a Chester Muller and Napoli, if we want, we can use Chester because you owe, even Chester, you owe him money. You owe a number of people money. Legitimate. They render the service and you never paid them. We can go to court and we can liquidate uh, 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 PF. We can liquidate it. And don't even say when 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 tapari ne from winga chita tapari from winga chita PF can be closed so in a blink of an eye and tapari from winga chita tapari who are you eh who are you imwe who are you with Ed Galungu a coward what can you do what can you do with Ed Galungu a coward at least member was there even fighting he even went to the road he was even arrested for it. Ed Galungu can never be arrested for PF. He can never. The moment you start close shutting down PF, shutting down PF, Ed Galungu will go into his bunker in, in Ibex. He can't fight. He can't fight. So, Ichindikeni, Ichindikeni, don't think that you, you are anything. Don't think that you are anything. We can sort you out. We can sort you out. Ati, mwe, 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 eh, hey, mwalia namba mwalia kuriwa, kuriwa yu, kuriwa yu PND. Have I gone kuriwa yu PND? Have I gone kuriwa yu PND? Have I gone kuriwa yu PND? And was I with you? Was I with you? Was I PF? I was never PF myself. I was never PF. I've remained economic and equity part. I'm still economic and equity part. But of course, if we want to sort out PF, we can work with you, PND, to sort you out. But we don't want to sort out PF. I particularly don't want to sort out PF. If anything, the only person that I am upset with now, it's Ed Galungu. That's the one I'm upset with. Because Ed Galungu is messing up PF. Ed Galungu did not create PF and yet is destroying PF. He's holding on to PF, destroying PF in his hands. Quaterich Wombe. Bamu Pelefi, he was just given level presidency. He would never have won that president. Edgar Lungu would never have won PF presidency if he was not given. Now he was given and he wants to destroy it. He's too selfish. Edgar Lungu is very selfish. He's very selfish. And some of you, hey, no, 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 no. Hey, because Edgar Lungu was not giving you money. Ubupu Bamuleke, my politics. Don't be naive. Don't be naive. You can't do politics without money. You can't do politics without money. And don't compare yourself with me and yourselves. No, don't. Don't. In anger and depth, it's open a pity that party points. More for someone I ingle and chill for tired. No, I'm by him way to Capusu swim. Eh? Who knows you? What can you do? Eh? Who knows you? There is a difference at my level. There is no any other way of making money other than in politics. 
That is what it is. Now I am in politics. I cannot go and get a job. I can't. I can't go and get a job. Forget it. Where? Who is going to employ me? As Shrivatayari, who is going to employ me? Now, repeat party level. I have to make money in politics. So don't put your, your, yourselves and myself on the same level. That, you know, go and get a job. I can't get a job. Even doing business is very difficult. It's very difficult, Mdara. I was flying out the other day. I was flying out the other day. I presented my passport and everything and whatever. And, you know, I had to be stopped. I had to wait for about 30 minutes at the airport for me to be cleared. And I understood this is the situation because I am at a higher level. Others were just coming. But when you are politically exposed, that is what you are subjected to. You are no longer an ordinary citizen. I'm no longer an ordinary citizen. Somebody had to clear me for me to go through, to go, to go through. And that's what it is when you are politically exposed. It is, the, it is the life of a politician. So where are you going to do business? It's, it's very difficult. So my level, my survival is those people that, are, that agree with me, helping me. That is the reality. Ah, ah. politician. Chimona pasta. At capital canoa, yes, capital canoa mdala, capital canoa. Gana lande fi apanga sense, I get paid for it. I get paid for it. And I'm not at your level. I'm not. I'm not. So when I'm when I'm at that level, how do you expect me to be pushing an agenda yako ahead galungu? <laughs> and naisa ikarakunganda. Who is going to who is going to pay the bills? Who is going to pay the bills? Don't be naive, Vaiche. Don't be naive. If you are going to go all out supporting somebody in politics, that person must be able to help you. If he's not able to help you, he's not fit to be a politician and the and the leadership that is espousing for. He's not. Unfortunately, that is just what it is. In politics, you invest. But Edgar Lungu is not investing in politics. He thinks that, again, Vakam Pera fi power. No. No. PF is no longer in power. The one who has to take over PF and run PF must be ready to invest in it. Edgar Lungu is not investing. Edgar Lungu is but a lot of people you can't he can't he, he can't the structures of pf the structures of pf have no money and no one is raising money for the structures of pf why? Because the president, who is the one who is holding on to power, he is president, is not mobilizing. He's not mobilizing. Of course, you don't have to necessarily have the money, but you should be able to mobilize resources and inject in the party. Ed Galung is not doing that. And I'm talking here, I'm talking for those people that are around Ed Galung. Eh? I'm talking for those people who are around Ed Galung. So be very careful when you are talking about me. In I talk, I tell you reality as it is. In I'm not a politician that lies. I give you reality as it is. If you want presidency, if you want, you know, whatever position, unfortunately, especially in third world countries, you need to spend, you need to invest. You need to invest. It is not about it. Some of you, you come here. Hey, when are you going to tell us about your manifesto? Whatever, whatever. Nonsense. Nonsense. You do you even know what a manifesto is? Who votes based on the manifesto? Who votes based on the manifesto? You vote because of the money that is put in. You may not, you may not directly benefit monetary, uh, uh, financially. 
but through the advert, through the noise, that noise that you see, it is paid for. Those adverts that you see, they are paid for. Those t-shirts and vitenges and whatever, they are paid for. And those things, they are the ones that uh, 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 captivate your mind and say, this is a serious guy, I'm going to vote for him. Right now, you people are talking about uh, Eva Fred Membe, Eva Fred Membe, Eva Fred Membe, Fred Membe, Fred Membe. What is it that Fred Membe has told you? That you think that he, he, he can be a good president. What? It is the financial muscle, muscle that is showing. When he goes to court, nice and a chinku pitua bantu. Eh? Even Kariman Shari Kuka. And could have afraid me. When you see him, he comes with a lot of people. When he goes to Shanchani, he comes with a lot of people. Don't be cheated that those people, some of them, they don't even know Fred Mem. But they are busy dancing. Dancing for Fred Membe. Why? Because somebody has brought out money for those people to be put on a bus, to put on a t-shirt and come and see. When they go back, they are given something. That is what is politics. That's what politics is all about. Don't be cheated. I'm telling you the truth. This is how politics work. Even me, Panosona, Kwata Maafu, Elonga Ninevo, you know, I've got a following of, of you people following me here without money. Now imagine if I even had the money to put in pa 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 na vika muefi na vika muefi na vika muefi. Pardon if I'm just alone in my house. If I had money, I have vacandires. I would have vacandires doing research for me. I would have vacandires putting on my light. I would have vacandires fanning me ni rapibanga ndiranda. So, you need to invest. Edgar Lungu doesn't invest. So when I'm telling you that he can't come back, he can't come back, it is because I have seen him. I've weighed Valungu. I have weighed. It's not that I've just turned against him. Ah, ah. I have Nariba Pima. Nariba Vika Paskeo Valungu. Nabo Mfo. Mafini Neshani. Bafini Neshani. Out of 100 kg. Bafini Neshani. Valungu weighs barely 5 kg. 5 kg. He can't. He can't. He's not investing in it. And personally, personally himself as a, as a person, he's a damn coward man. He's a damn coward man. And I know some of you when I say this, no, no, no. But this is the truth. This is the truth. Valungu can't fight. He can't fight for political power. He can't. Where did he fight you for political power? Where did he fight? Where did he fight for political power? In the Pano, even Sata, when Sata was going, and whatever, whatever, whatever machinations which was behind, Edgar Lungo was not given power because he was most intelligent, because he was whatever. No, no he was given power because Edgar Lungo was the weakest. Who could not threaten Sata's power? He was the weakest. Edgar Lungo did not threaten Sata. You think Sata wanted just to do. To, to lose power just like that. No. He had to give somebody. Oh, I'm when I, ah, okay. Who you does not threaten me. That's how Edgar Lungo was given power. By whoever gave him power. It is because they thought, you know, he, he, he didn't pose any threat. And indeed, indeed, when they, when he, a uh, uh, guy Scott said, you give back power here, bring power here. Ed Galungu just gave it. It is the people, when we in Sanda, Wanani, Wanani, these are the people that mobilize and said, ah, 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 let's get back that power. It is people that went into elections and campaigned for him and made him win. Especially Arabi. May he so rest in peace. 2026, look, 2016, what, 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 how many votes did he win with? How many votes? 100,000. He was in power. He was president. He won with 100,000 votes. With 100,000 votes. Is this a person that can come back? Him? Is this a person that can come back? Eh? Come 
2021, he was hammered with one million. Hammered with one million votes. Whether those votes were legitimate or not legitimate, the fact is that he was hammered with one million votes. Where was he? Where was he as a Republican president? As a Republican president. Today, today we are in the third year of, of Aka in the uh, power. We are in the third year. And the PF is nowhere. PF is nowhere. They are nowhere but PF. Where are they? Where are they but PF? Where are they? Positioning themselves as those who can take power. Because as it is, never come ever. Mark my words. We are in the third year. We are in the third year. There is no way PF is going to take over power in 2026. There is no way PF is going to take over power in 2026. There is no way. Especially in the HLM. Mulei Vepa. Mulei Vepa. 2026. I want to tell you, especially those of you who are in business, start aligning yourself properly. Because you have another term, apart from this term, you have another term of Aka in the Ichilema term. You have it. 2026, HH is bouncing back. He is bouncing back. Don't even them ever be fishing Kaime. Realistically speaking, PF can never organize itself and win an election in 2026 with Valungu still holding on. Because Valungu is still holding on to it. But I can assure you Valungu Tawakabepa Balot. Valungu Tawakabepa Balot, he will not. Not because of HH, but because of Edgar Lungu himself. He was not going to be on the ballot, not because of HH, but because of himself. One, like I'm saying, up to now, up to now, Ed Galungu is not releasing money. When is he going to release money to start mobilizing the party? When? When is he going to do it? When is he going to do it? And don't tell me he doesn't have money. No. No. He has the money. He has the money. And if he doesn't have money, <laughs> I mean... Then he's, he's more naive than anybody else. If he doesn't have the money, after being former president, after being former president, ule pera wakashisha kushitomu na nipanga nda 400 pin thousand, 400 pin dollars, and you say you don't have money, then you must really be naive. Then you must be really naive. Then you must be really naive. And as a former president, even if you don't have money, if you are not able to talk with other presidents in other countries, then what were you doing in State House? What were you doing in State House? Because of a PF, who is even buying you units? You don't even have bundles, including without no poster. Pari la ina ECO Legacy. Na washita mabandos ya kupimisha. Pari la uno posta ti ECO Legacy. You can see that power fio kuwaya wana pupeni pari. There is nothing that is there. But ya uposto tuma pictures yeo ya leko pale, leko pale, leko pale, leko pale. I know these, the, 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 the people that, that are behind you there. But I don't want to embarrass you. I'm just speaking for you. I'm speaking for you. By Edgar Lungu, if he wants to remain in politics, if he wants to remain in politics, let him start spending money on people. Let him start spending money on people. Let him start spending money on 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 the, on, uh, on on the party. Let him start spending money on people like Chester. Not to post a post Start spending money on these people. Eh? There is that boy. Kalakamo and Chakem Beni Mboshi Kalisa Nakati. KKD. KKD. Eh? That boy. Kalana kuna nikane kuna kukuli kuli kuna kuwa ibex. Wabutuka wabutuka. 
Kafu makulia, kafu makulia, kale ya vutuka, kale ya vutuka, kale ya vutuka, kale ya vutuka na malungu. Kafu makulia, akamu ya chitaka kwe tenapa kumoku woko. Taka kwe tenapa kumoku woko. And yet that kaboy, that kaboy has sung so many songs for waedi galungu. Kari watema waedi galungu, kari na alungu mwe, shani mwawombe, you know, that kaboy. He has done so much, but what is that boy benefiting? Eh? Let me show you this kaboy. Because mumona kwa tinga turela nda tiyo, balungu tetiwa wele lepa tiyo, naturiamu, naturiamu, awe! Hmm? Take uriamu, and I'm coming to my UPND, I'm coming to my UPND. Karaka mwa ichika, and therefore I have to indi shepo uri mbola KKD. The voice of Zambia. Hmm? Akamwa Ichaka has been singing songs, you know, for Walungu, but ah, uh, hmm? Tamwa Ichaka chula fiaka. Hmm? There is that song especially that, uh, that, that boy song, sang. Hmm? Akakamu aichaka. Kari para nika na pafesi minangeko. Eh? This ka boy here. This ka one. Akakamu aichaka. Naka nankwaka. Eh? These boys have been singing songs for Walungu. You know? Has been singing songs for Walungu, but ah. Hmm? Take kari. You need to look after people. You need to look after people. You can't just be letting people at your valley of Mbafi, valley of Mbafi, and yet you are not helping them. Eh? Some of them, they are actually facing a lot of problems. They face a lot of problems. And they are not helped. There is a song that I that I wanted. Anyway, there is a song that uh, there is a nice song that uh, this boy sang. But I mean, he has not been rewarded. Not any nothing has been done to him. I am speaking for those people that are around by Galungu. I am telling you because some of you you also want to join in. And some of you, you think that, no, ngatu wapala mina kuriba Ed Galungu, waka tupira kwa something. Nothing. Vamdara walata wasova, he, he doesn't help. A few people that he chooses, he helps. A few people that he chooses, he helps. Like that day, I remember when Kaiza Zulu was inside and he wanted bail. Ama, ama afi yari fuma for, it, for, for him to come out of bail. But in Edion Jakuma Court and whatever, whatever, one time I was charged five pin, Padidia sort of whatever, five pin. It is my wife that paid that five pin. It is my wife that paid that five pin. Andy can testify. He had to run from court. After Maku Court, he came home, got the money, and went and paid bail. Ela you miss a monada to wen, 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 wen. Hala imwe. Hala ichindika. So Walungu cannot, he cannot, he cannot come back. Not because of HH, not because of anybody, but just himself. Number one, Vali Kwatakaso. Even a musician, these musicians that used to sing, they were not paid up to today. And that's why Walungu, you might suffer. Because when you have a lot of people crying that, no, you didn't treat them well. You don't have good luck. You don't get good luck. You have a number of people that complain. Don't be cheated to say everyone likes you. Uh uh. Not those people that you parade. You parade van namayo vai sam kulomba shana shana. Uh uh. Ina I'm challenging you. If you want, I can give you a list of people that complain about you. That few that you use them and you never helped them. 
You use them and they never got anything. And I'm starting with these musicians. Just listen to me. We know, we know if you really want to be in politics, see, or if, you know, just also for good, for good luck. For good luck. Alabama musicians, whatever they mean, Bira. Mukabe take off one day, have lunch with them. Don't just call those, eh, eh, awa kucheichi, atimule pepa, mule pepa, trying to portray yourself as a good Christian, which is okay, I don't want to judge you. But there are these people that saved you, there are these people that worked for you. I am challenging you, Balung, one day, call them, call them, have lunch with them. Jiwa kalaya, mukawa pereko no tuma mveru, tuma mveru, tuma mveru, kuti mwa kwa nisha. Nangufema wapela kofe, nangufema 20 pin, 20 pin, 20 pin. They will appreciate. They will appreciate. Vaisa fe, ah, we, ah, wane, ah, nariru, but anyway, eh, hard luck. Mwari uwa mbaba ne, mm, eh, ten tulie pamu. Eh, dida wale ya, 20 pin, 20 pin, at least. Ndem ya wafi vishink. So, like, can you could stop abusing then can he Chester? Stop abusing him. Like, can you mu inembe ni mbosha kwe, accident one can. Hmm? You are not good people, you. Baka wanshi, bali mchifungo. Ba PF, you are not good people. Baka wanshi, bali mchifungo. How many of you, ba PF, who are going to see baka wanshi mchifungo? How many of you are going to see baka wanshi? Emerin Kawanshi. Emerin Kawanshi was not a thief. She was not a thief. Emerin Kawanshi wanted to help the poor people. Because vale the evident peer. That is how Medin Kavanshi identified the post, looking at it to say the post, it's a government entity. Let them be getting money through the post. And she bulldozed away to have the post given the contract. That is what sent Medin Kavanshi to prison. Not that she stole any money. She never stole any money. She never stole any money. Medin Kavanshi never stole any money. All she wanted is a better way of distributing social cash transfer. That's what she wanted. But because the, 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 the PF by that time, they were being deemed corrupt and whatever, whatever. They had to sacrifice one person so that Vamone Kat, they are fighting corruption. They sacrificed a Marine Kawanshi so that Vamone Kat, they are fighting corruption. Valungu had to fire Medin Kavanshi. Valungu had to let Medin Kavanshi be arrested whilst the others were being protected. Because they wanted to show that they are fighting corruption. And today Medin Kavanshi alimuchifungo. Not that she stole one penny. You can go and check the records. There is no one ungwe which went to Medin Kavanshi. No one ungwe. Emerin Kavanshi never benefited out of that out of that uh, 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 that contract which was given to to the post. She never benefited, not one ungwe. But today she's in she's she's in jail, and who is going there to see Emerin Kavanshi? And you think imipa shikuti shia miendera? Eh? You think imipa shikuti shia miendera timu wekerepo? Tamu akabwekerepo because muadibi permitima. Tamu akabwekerepo. Tamu akabwekerepo. Mwadibi pemitima. Avantu waka ele. Innocent people have suffered in your hands. In your hands, we balungu, people suffered. Eh? Don't think that, you know, you know, when, because we, we embraced you, you know. I mean, some of us that fika tokumitima. But na ina unechelichaje nkalipa. But me, I mean, I, I forget these things. I forget these things. It's, you know, it's okay. Fia pita, fia pita. But even me, the way you used to treat me, it was not good. It was not good. You were striving to, to, to take me to jail. I'm coming. But I'm telling you, what you were doing was bad. Sacrificing an innocent woman like a Medin Kabanshi, it is bad. And the spirits will not let you. You can't come back because when you come back, these things will start reoccurring. Chikesa wana waste because nomba muka ba vindictive. Efo le sate chami pere le na unanikane wu president wa wa Edgarung because what those bad things that you are doing when you come back you will do waste. 
and for sure he now will be praying that you don't you don't come back the only thing that i mean i feel bad is that i wouldn't want you to go to jail that i wouldn't want you to go to jail i don't want you i don't want Balungu to go to jail i don't even want especially Bamaeva Esther. i don't want her to go to jail that's why when I'm talking about some of these cases, I pray that there can be a better way of resolving, resolving some of these issues. Because some of these issues don't look good. Some of these cases don't look good. But Walungu, you treated us bad. Not only me, a number of people, you treated them bad. And one good example is Emerin Kabanji. And this is why I'm praying to you, Vaaka Inde Ichirima. I'm praying to you, Baaka in the each. I'm praying for you, ba, ba, for you, Baaka in the each them. That please consider by Emilin Kavanch. She's an innocent woman. Don't look at your because Dad in Alan Dako. This is not politics. Uh uh. This is about one good woman. Emilin Kavanch, she, she's a good woman. Go to the ministry there. Go and check. But Doreen, she's there, but Doreen. But Doreen, if, I'm, if what I'm saying is not true, go and tell the president to say, no, let that woman stay in jail. But if but Doreen, if what I'm saying is true, that that woman was innocent, I want you, but Doreen, my sister, my sister, I want you to join me in persuading the president to intercede for a Merin Kawanshi. Because today, you are a minister as well. Tomorrow you don't know what will come. Let us do good to people. Let us do good to people. Let us do good to this innocent woman. But PF only sacrificed the Medin Kavanshi because she, she did not pose a political threat to them. She was a poor woman. She was just a good woman. So they sacrificed her. But let us not let my Merin Kavanshi rot in jail. We are going to pay independence up 24th October. Some prisoners will be released. Can you include the name of Emerin Kavanshi on that list? I don't know why Emerin Kavanshi personally. I don't know. Aaron Shadi, I can't go to the court. I'm going to nothing. Nothing. Because some fools will be saying, no, nothing. That is me. When I'm convinced about something, I will commit to talk about it. I will commit to do whatever it takes to bring out the plight of whatever the situation. And on this one, my heart is clear. God can, is seeing my heart. How I'm bleeding, how bad I feel for that woman. I'm speaking here not for anything, but out of a clear conscience. That God can intercede, can work through Baka in the Ichdema. Can God work through Baka in the Ichdema? Bamaeva Mtinta, na papata, please intercede for that woman. I know there are a number of people that may be in jail today who don't deserve to be there. I know. But you know, they say act locally and think globally. For now, we know about Vaimedin Kavanshi. Can we, can we exercise leniency on Vaimedin Kavanshi? Vahed Galungu, yes, it's not that he is all bad, no. He is not all bad, even Vahed Galungu. But what I'm against is this nonsense of trying to be, you know, self-righteous. Self-righteous. Vahed Galungu shouldn't be, should, should, has no claim to morality, Vahed Galungu has no claim to justice. He has no claim. He has no claim. Let others speak for him, not him. Because he did a lot of bad things, Vahed Galungu. He has no claim to justice. Even this HH, how did he treat HH? How did he treat HH? Because some of you, hey, you are going to interfere. Hey, you are going to insult the former head of state. Hey, the former head of state is just jogging and whatever, whatever. If he uh, could have HH done what he, Ed Galungo is doing, could he have done that when Ed Galungo was in power? Would he have done that? So that's why if we have to quick a tondolo, we have to quick a tondolo, we have to quick a tondolo. 
Edgar Lungu has no claim to justice. Edgar Lungu has no claim to fair treatment because himself he didn't treat others well. He has no claim. When you are a perpetrator, you cannot turn around and claim to be a victim. When others treat you the same way that you treated them. He has no claim. Edgar Lungu has no claim to justice. Edgar Lungu has no claim to uh, 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 human rights because he himself mistreated people. He has no claim. He who comes to equity must come with clean hands. But Edgar Lungu is not, is, is not a clean man. He's not a clean man. But if you're unsafe, we are bringing out these things because you're provoking us. And the more you provoke some of us, we will keep on punching you back. You will keep on punching you back and we will do more. Come on. Allah imwe, akapususu imwe. Mika ne mutu teke mfine kwa ti mulimu power. You are no longer in power. You are no longer in power. And it's not that we have joined UPND, but we can work with UPND to fix you the way you used to fix us. We will work with UPND to fix you the way you used to fix us. Uh -uh. We don't owe you anything. At least me, I don't owe you anything. I don't owe you anything. If anything, you are the people that owe me. You are the people that owe me. I tried to work for you. I tried to advise you. You never gave me anything. And instead you were arresting me. You were arresting me. At the same way, what um poco? What um pa for you? Hey, hey, him, Miranda. But you see, this thing that we are talking about, PF, these things can happen to UPND as well. UPND is also not innocent, eh? UPND is also not innocent. And for me, this is this is why you you get it all wrong. This is why you get it all wrong with me. This is why you get it all wrong with me. In a, I don't side with an injustice, and I'm not biased in my in in the way that I look at things. I'm not biased. When I'm talking, I will never speak. I will never be a praise singer. I will never say something that I'm not convinced about UPND. I will tell UPND the truth as it is. Whether Mwampata, Ngamulefu Amwa, Chita continue, because some of you are saying, hey, no, he has just done this for the court cases, whatever, whatever, whatever. As much as in the court, I will never start lying for me to get out of court. No, no, no. I will apologize where I believe, where I, I feel that no, I'm wrong, like I did Kuliba Mukuni. But I will not lie myself out of problems. I will not do that. I will not pager myself to get out of problems. I will not do that. I will not tell President Haka in the Ichirima what, what is not true for me to get out of problems. I will not do that. I want you to know because I know you are watching by UPND. I know some of you who are my friends are watching. I know you are watching, but I want you to know that, you know, small boys and girls, the propaganda would, would be unleashed against me that I've got no principle. But I have very strong principle. Very strong principle. And that principle is that I will not lie for me to get out of a problem. I will not lie for me to get uh, whatever money. I will not do that. I will tell you the truth. And by UPND, I want to tell you. The same way we are talking about UPF, you are going in the same in the same in the same direction. You are going in the same direction. And there will come a time when we'll be talking about you the way we are talking about PF. But you have an opportunity because you are in power. Bahaka in the you are in power, you have an opportunity to do better than Vaid Galung. You have got an opportunity to do better than Vaid Galung. You have an opportunity. The only difference, Balungu is out. No more. He will not come back. No more. 
But for you, wa UPND, for you, wa kainde ichi, you have an opportunity to do what is right for this country, to treat the Zambian people better than the way wa Ed Galungu treated us. I will not, I will not pretend here. I've not been happy that I've been arrested nine times. I can't pretend. And you know that those charges and whatever, those arrests, the way you have treated me, it is not because I'm a criminal. You know very well. You know very well. You know very well. But we can move. We can move. You know, we can start afresh. We can do better. I have recognized myself to say, well, in some cases, I may have, you know, gone over the bar in my criticism. So I must do it correctly. And that's what I'm trying to do. But also on your side, there must be where you say, well, this is, we can work together at up to this extent. There must be somewhere where you can say, okay, this is where we can work together. What, is, what really upsets me for me is the mediocrity that we have. You, you usually think, no, Tehari flips, see, hey, Lelo, he goes this, whatever. What really just bothers me and flips me is mediocrity. I hate mediocrity. I hate mediocrity. And there is mediocrity in UPND just like there was mediocrity in PF. There is mediocrity in PF in UPND. I mean, why do people fail to stick to certain, certain issues? Why? I don't want to go in details, but why do people fail to, to, to stick to certain issues? This country, we tolerate mediocrity so much, whereby even a press conference, which is supposed to start at 10 hours, it comes and it starts at 12 hours. And we say we are doing better. That is not acceptable to me. That is not acceptable to me. That is just not acceptable to me. If you say tomorrow I'll call at 10 hours, call at 10 hours. If you are not able to call at 10 hours, call at 11 hours and say, sorry, I couldn't call at 10 hours. But come on, there is too much mediocrity. For example, there is this guy that one time, Palanchawa, calls me up, takes me for lunch, engages me in a conversation, and asks me to do something. I go and start talking to people. The people also start expecting that, oh, we are going to do this and that and that. And thereafter, the guy just goes quiet. I'm talking about him. I'm sure he's, he's following. I phoned him today and I told him. For me, those are things that really just, I don't accept mediocrity. I don't like mediocrity. I don't like mediocrity. I don't like mediocrity. Don't start me. If you are not ready, don't come to me and engage me on something. Uh-uh. Don't. Don't. Don't come to me and engage engage me if you are not ready. Or if you are not serious. Don't. Because it upsets me. I don't like to waste my time. I don't like it. Don't come and waste my time. If you are a mediocre, stay where you are. Don't come to me because tomorrow I'll be here talking about you. And you'll be saying, ah no, he flips, he flips. When you come and just, when you just came and started me. I don't like that nonsense. I don't like that nonsense. But this, I'm talking at a personal level, it is also there in your policies. It is there in your policies. Mediocrity is there in your policies. The minimum prices are going high and whatever, whatever, whatever. Look at the, look at the comeback. Are you telling me, you know, a Zambia National Service can supply the whole country with maize? Are those policies that you can, that is mediocrity. You know that this policy cannot work. ZNS cannot cause the price of minimum to go down. It is impossible. It is impossible. ZNS cannot cause the minimum prices to go down. And you are just going to create problems. You fired that journalist who took a picture of people fighting for minimum. This is what will happen 
what will happen what will be happening now is that each time the millimeter goes into shop right a cheaper millimeter you will have be having queues people will be fighting to go in shop right and the pictures will be taken and you'll be more embarrassed you'll be more embarrassed that is those are mediocre solutions mediocre solutions <laughs> and I don't know why you are failing to explain to people. I don't know why you are failing to explain to people the cause of all this because you have you, UPND you have literally failed to communicate with the Zambian people that we are having challenges as a result of the global meltdown that is currently going on. You have failed. You have failed. Why are you scared? Because small boys and girls are saying no. When you were a uh, global, 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 when it come with was saying it's global, you were laughing. That's fine. At that time, you didn't, you, you didn't appreciate. This is a problem when you don't appreciate the challenges of your friends. Even you, when you are in, in problems, people will fail to understand you. But you need to be bored and tell the people the impact of, uh, you know, the global economic meltdown. On Zambia, you need to explain this to people. Why are you scared to explain this to people? Why are you scared? Yes, I know people will start jumping around. Hey, you see, you are saying it's not global. It's not global. But tell them the truth. This message has not gone to the people. Let the people understand and come up with real solutions. Not this mediocrity that you are coming up with, ZNS. Not this mediocrity. You have no choice but to talk to those IMF and reintroduce subsidies in some, you know, uh, measured or targeted subsidies. You can, you, can, you can find a way of introducing subsidies which are targeted to cushion the, 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 the lives of Zambians. And these solutions you must bring concrete, not what you are bringing out. And I will never come here and say, no, 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 UPND is doing well. Eh? Like what here, Aimbe was saying that, no, we have done everything. What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Because now we have even Israel, Palestine, the Middle East war. More is going to come in. More suffering is going to come in. In the next three months, That the impact of that war will be knocking on our doors. The impact of the war in the Middle East will be knocking on our doors. By the time we are hitting December, we will be having serious problems. But what is it that you have done? Instead of just coming up and saying, no, 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 we, we have sorted out, we have done everything, government is okay. No! What have you done? What have you done specifically? And I can assure you, you need to be very serious to consider these subsidies. I know you are looking for money, but those friends of yours, let them come in and help you with money. Those minds who are not paying taxes, who are getting tax rebates and everything, talk to them. Talk to them. They cannot mind if Zambia is not at peace. They cannot conduct business if Zambia is not at peace. So those who want to, do, who want to make money in Zambia, this is a time they should come in and support us. Because if people revolt because of commodity prices, even them will not be able to make money. They will not be able to make money. If UPND goes out of power in 2026, they will not be able to make money. And you know, I can tell you, I am not for the idea of changing governments every now and then. I will repeat that. I am not for the idea of changing government every now and then. Because changing governments costs a lot of money and it is a drawback especially when you, you know you bring in these populists who take advantage of the situation eh? they, they know there are problems elsewhere but they come and present themselves like they have the solutions they do nothing when they come in because really they don't have the solutions so I'm not really in favor of changing governments just for the sake of changing governments from my point of view, yes, I'm, I'm opposition and I want to be president, 
But certainly, I am not eager that at every chance we should change government. Because I know it costs a lot of money to change governments. There must be some consistency. And the HH needs that consistency. UPND needs that consistency. But if you continue with this mediocrity, you will go sooner than you expect. You will go sooner than you expect. Stop that mediocrity. You know, if especially you people who are dealing with me, don't waste my time. I don't like to waste my time. I don't like to be, to be left, you know, wondering what's happening, what's happening. I don't like that nonsense. I don't like that nonsense. If something has to be done, let it be done. Valungu ni mbakana, it's because of this mediocrity. It's because of this mediocrity. I don't like mediocrity. Uh-uh. Shwa. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.